Hi guys, I'm Eileen. Today, I want to talk about why luxury shopping shouldn't be consumed like fast fashion. In the last two years, I've been talking a lot about luxury minimalism and I've come across some comments saying I was beginning to sound like I was anti-luxury. To be honest, I don't think I'm anti-luxury, but I certainly don't support excessive luxury or excessive shopping in general because quite frankly, I've been there myself and I can tell you when I was surrounded by a lot of expensive things I didn't use, I wasn't happy. And you know what? Even though I had way more than I could use, I still felt like I didn't have enough. I would watch videos about designer unboxing and those really impressive Hermes and Chanel collection with envy and even a bit of jealousy. It wasn't until I embraced minimalism that I realized I was basically trying to do designer shopping in a fast fashion manner. No wonder I felt like I couldn't keep up. There are a lot of reasons why designer shopping shouldn't be done in a fast fashion way. First of all, the whole concept of fast fashion is not great for the planet or our wallets anyway. I personally think we should make every single purchase with the intention of keeping it for a long time. The idea of using something only for a few times before sending it to the landfill just seems so wasteful and unnecessary. Now, in the context of designer shopping, not many of us will put a Louis Vuitton handbag in the bin, but the turnover is still quite high seeing many of us are constantly buying and selling and always repeating that cycle. Pre-loved shopping is now a massive business and we now have more consignment websites than ever before. In a way, this is good news for some of us seeing secondhand shopping is usually cheaper. However, the availability of this service can also work against us, especially if we start seeing this service as a safety net. I was a prime example. I used to buy Chanel handbags on impulse because I thought I could just sell them without losing too much money, seeing Chanel was always increasing their prices. Well, the truth is, I lost a lot of money with every sale because of the hefty commission charge, but still, Every time I let go of something, I immediately wanted to buy something else. And that for me is the definition of luxury shopping done in a fast fashion way. Now, if you're thinking about downsizing your collection, I would say go for it, especially if you think you have way more than you need. But just remember, the money from the sale is not free money. If you find that you are constantly buying and selling, it's probably a sign you should slow down with your shopping. I also want to point out that while it might be very exciting to follow the latest trends, it's certainly a lot more sustainable to invest in something that you know you will be keeping for a long time. And I'm not talking about buying certain Chanel classic flap just because that's what everyone is talking about. You want to go for something that is classic and timeless for you and something you know you feel good about wearing every single time. Another reason designer shopping shouldn't be consumed like fast fashion is simply because they are expensive. I'm sure a lot of you have come across videos about some massive Louis Vuitton or Dior unboxing. They are fun to watch for sure, but I want to say most people with a day job are quite unlikely to have a budget for this kind of spending, especially on a regular basis. And even if you can actually afford to buy a Chanel handbag every other week, it's probably still not the best way to prioritize your spending. I'm a firm believer that the content we consume affects the way we behave. I went through a period where I was mostly watching luxury channels that focused heavily on designer hauls and expensive unboxing. And after a while, that kind of shopping behavior started to become my normal and even something I aspired to. Now, I'm not suggesting anyone to stop watching those kind of videos because they can actually be quite informative, especially if you're interested in the latest pieces. That said, I really don't think that should be the only kind of content you expose yourself to. 
Think about it. If everyone around you is spending at least four thousand pounds on designer handbags, you will start thinking a two thousand pound Louis Vuitton bag is a good bargain, and anything less than that might even seem unacceptable. In fact, I can give you a personal example. So I used to own a few Hermes Rodeo leather charms. I think they cost about four to six hundred pounds each now, which is really expensive, seeing they are just handbag accessories. But back in the days when I was obsessed with shopping, I would buy them without any hesitation, and I think that's because you know at Hermes everything is so expensive. So in comparison, those Rodeo charms just seem like a good deal. So what I'm saying is. Our surrounding and social circle can really shape the way we think and spend. At the end of the day, spending thousands of pounds on the designer bag shouldn't be a light decision, and no one should make you feel that way either. The next reason designer shopping shouldn't be consumed like fast fashion has to do with practicality. I mean, how many designer handbags do we actually need? And is it worth it to spend so much money just for something to sit in our closet looking pretty? And do we really need that walk-in closet? Now, sometimes we see some really amazing designer handbag collection on social media, but what we sometimes forget is these beautiful people are full-time fashion bloggers, so their job is to showcase and review the latest pieces, and rightfully they get compensated for it. But if we get a bit too distracted, we might start idolizing their lifestyle and overlooking our own. For example, I used to have a small collection of small leather good pieces, and the funny thing is, even though I wasn't using a lot of these pieces, I was still constantly looking to buy more and more. In fact, I always put my name down on the waiting list for the Louis Vuitton Christmas edition pieces. The truth is, though, I never like transferring things between small leather good pieces, and honestly, I don't have the time for it either. So why was I hoarding things that I knew I wasn't going to use? I think the answer is I was trying to live somebody else's life, like what I saw on Instagram. This is why I think fast fashion is never a good idea because it's like you put yourself on this hedonic treadmill and you keep going without realizing why you're doing it in the first place. I think the beauty of slow buying is you're essentially giving yourself the time to be honest with yourself. And reflect on what you actually need for your lifestyle, and not just trying to keep up with the Joneses. This is something I've been thinking a lot about lately, because even though I've downsized my collection a lot, deep inside me, I still feel like I have more than I need. So at the moment, I'm trying to follow the one in one out rule for my luxury handbag collection. But if I ever let go of something, I will not let that be the reason for me to rush into buying something else. I also want to make a little disclaimer here because on this channel, I promote products and services that I enjoy using myself. But that is not to say you have to buy everything I use or believe in. Everyone has their own lifestyle, so only you get to decide what to bring into your home or your life. So those are my thoughts about why luxury shopping shouldn't be consumed like fast fashion. To be honest, I think slow fashion and slow buying is really the only way to go with everything we buy. Even when I'm buying something small now, for example, a phone case, I really take the time to think about if I need it, and if the answer is yes, I'll go for the highest quality for the price I want to pay for, just so it will last me for a long time. Now I know the content I make now is quite different from those designer unboxing videos I used to make when I first started this channel, but that's because I'm not the same person I was a few years ago, and I really want this channel to be a true reflection of how I'm growing and evolving as a person. I'm actually really glad I found minimalism, and I hope more people will join me on this path of responsible spending. So that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Have a nice day.